Yoga. I'm Ravi here at Good Moments Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me. 100% um, of proceeds today go to the National Coalition on Black Civic Participation. So uh, they're a wonderful organization that does all kinds of things like voter registration and youth leadership initiatives. So if you can, please donate and thank you for joining me. Um, if you do have something like a strap today, um, there's like one thing that you might want it for early in the warm up. If you don't have a strap because you're not sort of a weirdo who keeps straps around like I do, um, a t-shirt will work, a towel will work, or your imagination is just fine. It'll get you about 95% of the benefit. Um, so if you have one of those things, go ahead and grab that, keep it close to your mat. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So we'll start today in child's pose. Go ahead and take the knees together, set the hips back to the heels, and then just simply fold forward on your mat. You can go ahead and take the forehead to the ground. Just take a moment to breathe. Feel the connection between your forehead and the earth. Just take a moment to check in with your body, check in with your brain. Just investigate where you're at and what you're bringing with you today. Take a few breaths here to consciously let go of whatever you're taking with you. Every inhale in a little more focus, a little more calm. Every exhale out, just sighing out into the earth, letting something go. Then go ahead and take both hands, crawl them all the way over to the right side of the mat so you get a nice long stretch all the way from the outer edge of the left pinky. All the way down to the outer edge of that left hip. And just go ahead and keep crawling your hands over to the right side of the mat at whatever extent for you makes you feel that stretch. Slowly and gently come on back to your center. Go ahead and take a stretch the opposite direction. Stretch both hands over to the left side. This time feeling the stretch all the way from the outer edge of the right pinky. Down to the outer edge of the right hip. Just breathe into anywhere that feels stuck. Slowly and gently come on back through center. And go ahead and walk your hands back towards your knees until you're sitting up. And you can gently keep the eyes closed or you can have them sort of half open. Just take a few gentle neck rolls in whatever degree and rotation feels good to you. And if a roll does not feel good to you, by all means, feel free to break it down into individual directions instead of one smooth circle. And just make sure you go back the opposite direction. Come on back, work neutral. If you have a strap or you have your t-shirt or your towel, go ahead and grab it. If you don't, you can do almost the same thing with your imagination. Just go ahead and take both hands straight out in front of you, down towards the knees. You'll go ahead and grab the strap, the t-shirt, the towel, or your imaginary object. Um, 
with your straight arms, and then as you inhale, you'll go ahead and take the arms up. And then exhale, take the arms back behind you. Of course, go ahead and loosen the grip on whatever you have, if you need to loosen it, in order to take the arms all the way down. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, take the hands forward. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, the arms back behind you. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, the arms forward. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, the hands back behind you. Inhale, raise them up one more time. And exhale, the hands go down towards the knees. You can keep the strap or the towel, whatever you have. As you inhale, grab take the arms up once more. And this time, go ahead and side bend it over towards the right. Try and take your right hand as far towards the ground as it can go. Your left hand over, head across the body. Just taking a simple side stretch. Your neck can look in any direction that's comfortable. And then the next time you exhale, gently take that left hand that's up in the air, take the left hand over across the body towards the right knee, and simply just turn and twist. And then gently let that go, come on back through center. Inhale, take both arms up, whether you've got a strap or not. And as you exhale, take the side, then go to the opposite side and take the left hand as far out of the ground as it can go. The right arm will stretch over across the body. And then as you exhale, same thing, take that right hand over across the body towards that left knee and just turn and twist. And so then gently come on back through center. Your real or imaginary prop can be put to the side. We're gonna take both palms on the lap. Take the palms up and inhale, so the chest up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, turn the palms down, arch the belly in. Like we're moving through some seated cat cows. As you inhale, some heart up towards the ceiling, spread the palms open. And exhale, arch the belly in, turn the palms down, hug the chin to the chest. Inhale, palms up, lift the heart. Exhale, curl in, turn the palms down. One more round, inhale, look up, turn the palms up, stretch the heart towards the ceiling. Exhale, curl the belly in, curl the chin in, take the palms, palm down. Good. Come on back through center. This time, go ahead and take your fingertips, just reach them back behind you, about where your hips and your toes are, and just press them into the earth and see if you can go ahead and lift your heart up towards the ceiling. And then, as you inhale, your left fingertips will stay on the ground. So you'll go ahead and raise your right arm over and across the body, and you might go ahead and lift the hip. But be gentle and just listen to how far your body wants to go. Exhale, sit back down. Sweep the right arm front of the body. Change direction. Sweep the left arm. Right fingertips down, left fingertips up. And inhale, lift. Same process. Exhale, sweep the arm in front of you. Switch sides. Inhale, lean back on the left hand. Raise the right arm up. Press the hips forward if that's okay for your back. Exhale, switch that. Inhale, press into the right palm, lift the hips, lift the left arm. Two more rounds. Exhale, sit the hips down, switch that. Inhale, left hand down, the right arm up, press the hips forward. Exhale, sit the hips down, switch that. Inhale, right arm down, left arm up, press the hips forward. Exhale, sit the hips back. 
switch set to right arm up. The last one, exhale, set the hips back. Drag the fingertips along the foot. Inhale, right arm down, left arm up. Okay, if the side to your exhale, just gently come on back to neutral, taking both hands on the thighs for a moment. And then go ahead and stretch your torso all the way down on the ground, come back to your child. Go and slide yourself forward on the belly. Come all the way flat down on the mat. Take the hands right below the shoulders. And as you inhale, go ahead and lift the heart, lift the chest, lift the head, lift the shoulders, and come into a low rope. So much is happening here in your upper back that you can float your hands if you wanted to. Exhale, release that down. Inhale, lift back up, low over, find all the action in that upper back. Spread the elbows. You can float the hands to check if you want. Exhale, release back down. One more time. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, release back down. Okay, we'll go ahead and move toward the shoulder opener. So take the left hand, take it straight out from the left shoulder. Go ahead and flip the palm so the palm faces up towards the ceiling. Your thumb points down towards your toes. Turn your cheek so that you're facing over towards your right side. Use that right hand, press it into the earth, and start to roll towards that left shoulder. Depending on how open that left shoulder is, you might be able to reach that right arm around. You might grab through the other fingertips. Your right leg might bend when you come to kickstand. Or you might go ahead and bend both feet. And take both feet to the floor. When you've had enough there, gently let that go. Come on back to your center. I'll take the opposite side. Same setup. Right hand goes straight out from the right shoulder. Flip the palm, set the right. Palm faces up towards the ceiling, the thumb points down towards the toes. Look left, press that left palm into the earth, and use that leverage against that left palm. They're gonna roll you back towards that right shoulder. Left foot might kickstand. Left arm might reach around and reach for that right hand. Both knees might bend, and you might go ahead and take both feet flat to the floor, but different sides are different. Gorgeous. And when you've had enough there, slowly and gently back to your center. Go ahead and sit the hips back to your heels. Take a brief child's pose. And as you're ready, go ahead and come on to all fours. Around all fours, you can just go ahead and start to move through some cat cow. So as you inhale, you'll go ahead and tilt the tailbone up, spread the collarbone, just keep the back of the neck long. Cow. As you exhale, round through your tailbone, arch the back, looking towards the navel. Cat. Inhale, knee to the tailbone, sends the tailbone up towards the ceiling, tilt the collarbone, so it's like. Exhale, weave the tailbone, arch the belly, and look in towards the navel like your Halloween cat. Okay, go ahead and take two more rounds on your own, just starting to connect your own breath to your own movement. The inhale lifts you up. The exhale arches you in towards your cat. And then after your second round of cat cow, simply just go ahead and tuck the toes, lift the hips, and send yourself up and back into your first downward facing dog. So if it's your first downward facing dog, you absolutely might need to go ahead and settle into it. So you can feel free to sway the hips, pedal the feet, shake the head yes and no.
And on your next inhale, go ahead and take that whole entire inhale. Roll forward like a wave, arching the back like a cat spine. Your head comes absolutely last. As you come into your plank, press your heels towards the back wall. Send the heart up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend knees almost as the mat. Send the hips up and back. Return back to downward facing dog through those bent knees. Inhale, roll it forward to plank. Full inhale to get there. Once you're in your plank, press the heart towards the ceiling. Press the heels towards the back wall. Exhale, bend the knees almost as the mat. Some the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Last round. Inhale, take it forward to your plank. Good. Lengthen out through your heels and the heart towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend the knees, almost touch the mat. Take it up and back, downward facing down. Good. Now, you've been here a couple times, so this time go ahead and start to perfect this posture. Now go ahead and try to take the shoulder blades away from the ears. You'll hug the shoulder blades in towards the spine and take them down the back. It's like you're trying to stick your shoulders in your back pocket. Slight bend the knees, allows the hamstrings to disengage, allows the tailbone to tilt even further up towards the ceiling, and keeps your nice natural curve in the spine. Press all the way through all parts of your hands, but especially the pointer finger and the thumb. And between that strong action of the thumb and the forefinger, and taking your shoulders in and down the back. Start to see if you can shift the weight from your wrists and your shoulders into all the big muscles in your upper back that really want to do carrying in this pose. Deep inhale. Exhale, let something go. Deep inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Once more, deep inhale. Exhale, side out. Beautiful. On an inhale, go ahead and take that right leg straight up behind you. Exhale, bend the knee, open up through that right hip. See if you can see your right foot under your left arm. Foot. And double check that your right shoulder didn't come traveling with you. You're not going to have that foot. You're still trying to keep that right shoulder square to the mat. Go ahead and rotate through that hip socket. Just go ahead and move the knee in some giant circles. And then go ahead and take them back in the opposite direction. Good. Inhale, take that right leg straight back behind you. Exhale, step that right foot forward and through up to the palms. A little we'll stay here for a moment and warm up the hamstrings. So as you inhale, lengthen out through that right leg, arch the back like your cat's spine. Exhale, bend the knee, lengthen out, ground to the tailbone. Inhale, lengthen the leg, arch the back. Exhale, bend the knee, lengthen the spine. Last round. Inhale, lengthen the leg, arch the back. Exhale, bend the knee, lengthen the spine. Good. Hands press firmly into the earth. As you inhale, go ahead and stick that right leg up and back. Exhale, take that right knee as far forward to the nose as you possibly can. Hug it in. And this time, as you inhale, go ahead and figure four that right leg over the left thigh. Flex through the right foot. And walk the hands back towards your left foot. So you're on a figure four, and you're folded over that left leg. Left leg does not need to be straight. Keep a little micro bend in it if it's stressed out. And just forward fold over that bent right leg. Let go of the back of the neck. Breathe into any that feels tight. Good. Next inhale, gently walk the hands back out to your foot. Step that right foot back to your foot. Exhale, either knees, chest, chin, or half push up, etc. Inhale, cobra, upward facing dog. 
Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, return back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, take the left leg into the air. Exhale, bend the left knee, open up through that left hip. Double check that your left shoulder is not traveling and both of them are still staying square to the mat. Check under that right armpit, see if you can see your foot. So, hey. And then go ahead and take that left knee in some big circles. Take it back the other way. And inhale, re-lengthen that left leg straight back behind you. Exhale, set the left foot forward and through, right between the palms. Inhale, lengthen the leg, arch the back. Exhale, bend the knee, lengthen the spine. Good. Inhale, lengthen the leg, arch the back. Exhale, bend the knee, lengthen the spine. Last round, inhale, lengthen the leg, arch the back. Exhale, bend the knee, lengthen the spine. Plant the palms back down firmly on the earth. Inhale, send that left leg straight back behind you. Exhale, take the left knee to the nose as far as you can make it. Inhale, cross that left leg over the right leg, up towards the thigh. Flex through that left foot. And start to walk the hands back towards the right foot. Until you're folding forward over the figure four to the left leg, foot is flexed. Yeah, let the back of the neck go. Any tension you've got in that left glute, you don't need it. Good. Next time you inhale, walk it back out to your plank. Step that left foot back. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin on the exhale. Cobra, upward facing dog on the inhale. Exhale, tuck the toe, lift the hip, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward between the hands. Exhale, take a gentle walk forward, up between the palms. Inhale, half lift and lengthen. Exhale, rebound. Inhale, gently roll all the way up the standing down to the reach up. And exhale, take the hands forward. Okay, look at their version of Chandra Namaskar. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, fold it forward all the way over the legs. Inhale, half lift and length. Exhale, fingertips to the mat, step the right foot back. Untuck the right toes, come onto that right knee. As you inhale, lift both arms straight up, low crescent lunge. Exhale, palms to the mat. Left foot meets right, downward facing down. Inhale, roll it forward to your plank. Exhale, chatter up. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, same leg, right leg lifts. Exhale, step forward and through between the palms. Untuck the left toes. Come onto the left knee. Inhale, both arms straight up. Send the tailbone towards the floor instead of towards the back wall. Good. Exhale, palms to the mat. Left foot meets right. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift and lift. Exhale, rebound. Inhale, roll up, stand to the arm to the reach. And exhale, take the hands to the heart. Good. Same thing, left side meets in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen out, tailbone to the crown. Exhale, step the left foot back. Unduck the left toes, come onto the left knee. Inhale, raise it straight up, keep the tailbone pointing towards the ears. Exhale, palms to the mat. Right foot meets left, downward facing up. Inhale, flip. Exhale, shut it up. Inhale to the back bend. Exhale, downward facing up. Inhale, left leg lift, same leg. Exhale, step it forward and through between the palms. Untuck the right toes. Inhale, lift the arms straight. Exhale, palms to the back. Right foot meets left, forward fold. Inhale, half lift and lift. Exhale, breathe. Inhale, roll all the way up to standing down to the 
and excel in so hard. Okay. Same, same. One more on each side. Exhale. Inhale, half lift and lengthen. Exhale, right foot leads. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms so back. Down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, same leg, right leg. Exhale, step up forward and through. Inhale, lift the arm. Exhale, palm to mat. Left foot meets right. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift and lengthen. Exhale, lead in. Inhale, roll all the way up to stand. Take the arms with your reach. And exhale, lift the hands. Okay, last one. Inhale. Exhale, to fold. Inhale, lengthen out, ground to the toe. Exhale, left foot leads, untuck the toes. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, palms to the mat, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chatter up. Inhale, back plank. Exhale, downward facing back. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, step it forward and through between the palms. Untuck the right toes. Inhale, hold the arm down. Exhale, palms to the mat. Right foot knee flush, forward fold. Inhale, half lift the neck. Exhale, breathe in. Inhale, roll up to stand, take the arms with you, reach out. And exhale, take the hands to the back. Of course. Inhale, both arms up. This time, go ahead and sit the hips back. Move your mental with Kadasana. Double check if you can see your toes. If you can't, go ahead and move the knees further back in space until you can. Good. As you exhale, go ahead and float both hands back behind the back. Keep the bend in the knees. Inhale, interlace the fingers back behind the back and send the heart up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, go ahead and melt your chest forward, lay your chest down on your thighs, and then go ahead and drop the head and lengthen out through the legs. Allowing the hands to just melt over top of the head. Try and keep the palms pressed together. Inhale, keep the arms down, just half lift. Just lengthen out all the way crown to the toe. As you exhale, go ahead and step the left foot straight back. Bend through the right knee. Spin the left heel down about 45 degrees. And exhale, just allow that shoulder to come further down to the inside of that right knee. You're in a humble warrior. Good. From here, try to square the hips towards the front of the mat. Gorgeous. As you inhale, just lengthen through that right leg. You can keep the bind. As you exhale, go ahead and re-bend through the right leg. Allow the hands to unclasp and melt around that right foot. Inhale, sweep so both arms straight up. Warrior one. Exhale, open up to warrior two. You're going to spin that back foot a little further out. You might need to lengthen your lunge leg. Inhale, flip the front palm. Then it will wrap it back. Reverse. Exhale, front elbow, front knee. Side ankle. Inhale, over up and back. Reverse. Inhale, right elbow, right knee, left arm over the air, side angle. First, exhale, sit into that side angle, feel that extension through that right leg. Good. As you inhale, sweep the left arm in front of the face. Use that momentum to lift you up. Take a try. Breathe. Stretching both hands in opposite directions. Pressing the back of that right hand into the right shin. As you exhale, send the left hand back towards your left foot. Bend through the right knee. Spin the left heel up. <laughs> and inhale, come on back through a high lunge. Gorgeous. As you exhale, take your left hand down to the mat. Take the right arm up. Twist. 
Inhale, net twist. And exhale, spin the left heel down. Step the right foot back. Side plank. Good. Inhale, extend the hips up towards the ceiling even more. Extend through all those angles. Exhale, right hand down to the ground. Inhale, near plank. Exhale, shutter. Inhale, cobra, upper facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes. Flip the hips. Downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg up into the air. Exhale, step that right foot forward and through. Up between the palms. Inhale, lift both arms straight up. High level. Exhale, wing the arms back, send the torso forward. Turn to that weight onto that right foot. Float that left foot straight back behind you. Flex through the left foot, warriors. Good. As you inhale, go ahead and hug that left knee towards the chest. And as you exhale, you can use your left hand to help you out. Land that left foot somewhere on that inside of that right leg. It can be on the thigh, it can be on the shin, just absolutely not the knee if you like having knees. Get it treated. Find somewhere to concentrate. And breathe. Gorgeous. Exhale the left foot down. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the hips back, come back through your chest. Exhale, pull the the hands down. Inhale, change the interlace, lift the heart. Exhale, melt the chest forward over those bent knees, drop the head, then lengthen out through the leg. Good. Inhale, half lift them. Exhale, step the right foot back. Spin the right heel down, 45 degrees. Bend through the left knee. Gorgeous. You may exhale, let everything go fold further forward over that bent left knee. Hips try to square towards the front of the room. Left knee tries to come towards my knee. Good. As you inhale, just lengthen through that left leg. Exhale, bend the left knee, sweep the hands along the mat. Inhale, lift straight up, warrior one. Exhale, spin it open, warrior two. Readjust the feet as needed. Inhale, flip and tip. Exhale, left elbow, the left knee, opposite arm, the knee. Inhale, over and back, orbits. Exhale, side. Inhale, sweep the right palm front face. Use that momentum to lift on up. Track up. Stay. Breathe. And extend all of your limbs. Good. The next time you exhale, send that right hand back towards your back foot. Sweep that arm in and through. Bend through the left knee. Spin the right heel up. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, right hand to the inside of the left foot. The left arm up. Twist. Gorgeous. Inhale. Exhale, step that left foot back. Spin it on open. Take your side leg. Good. Lift up those hips up towards the ceiling. Exhale, left hand back. Inhale, it's a plank. Exhale, chin around. Inhale, cobra up to. Exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, step it forward and through up between the palms. Inhale, lift it straight up. Exhale, wing the arms back, send the torso forward. Transfer that weight onto that left foot. Float that right foot back behind you, warrior three. Good. Inhale, hug the right knee towards the chest and everything up. Exhale, use the right hand if you need it. Land the right foot. Somewhere that's not your knees. Cards. Find a place to match it. 
and let's give it next. Let's give it our full cup. Or let's exhale both feet down. Inhale, sit the hips up. Sun the arms up. Move it to the top. Exhale, pull up the arms in. Inhale, change the inch leg, sit the heart Exhale, melt forward over the knees, or the chest over the knees, then the head, then lengthen through the legs. Inhale, half lift and lengthen, so keep that box. Exhale, step the left foot back. Spin the left toes down, 45 degrees. Good, and melt further into that right hip. Hip still try to square towards the front of the mat, you're still a warrior one. Gorgeous. On an inhale, just lengthen through the right leg, take it into a triangle. Sorry, pyramid. Good. Exhale, bend the right knee, sweep the arms along the floor. Inhale, raise the arms up. Warrior one. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. Inhale, pop goes over at the back. Reverse. Exhale, siding. Inhale, over, up, and back. Reverse. Inhale, right elbow, right thigh, siding. And exhale, sit into that front leg. Inhale, sweep the left arm in front of the face. Lift up, triangle. Good. You can absolutely stay in this triangle, stay here and breathe. Or if it's in your practice and you're feeling like it, you might look down at those right toes until you can cheat that left foot up and take a half move. Strong flex in the left foot will help. Lifting that left hip towards the ceiling. Of course, whatever you did. We'll meet back in triangle one way or the other. Exhale, reach that left hand back towards the left foot. Sweep the arm down and through, spin the back heel up, high up. Exhale, left hand down, right hand up, twist. Good. This time, go ahead and bend that left knee, touch the earth. And then you might go ahead and bend the left knee and reach back for the left toes with that left, right. Good. Gently let that left foot go without seeing shutting it if you took the time. <laughs> Lift up through that left knee, come onto the ball of that left foot. Exhale, step it on back to your side plank. Or you might go ahead and continue to put those right toes back behind you and take a rock start. Good. When you're done, either way, you'll rotate back around to your plank and move through the vinyasa of your knees. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step the right foot forward and through up between the palms. Inhale, lift from the leg, high up. Exhale, wing the torso forward, wing the arms back. Transfer the weight. Warrior three. Good. On an inhale, hug that left knee towards the chest. Hug everything up. And as you're sitting, go ahead and cross that left leg over the right leg. Once it's fantastic. If this is where you're at, great. You can rest your left toes down on the mat. If you've got the double wrap, absolutely go ahead and take that full eagle wrap. And then once you're pretty stable there, the left leg is over. Left arm will go under once, twice, and find your knee board. Good. Pick a place in front of you to concentrate. You can crunch it up if you like. Good. Gently on one. Set both feet to the earth, the inhale, send those arms up. And then sit the hips back, come back through the future. 
Exhales in the back of the back, change the hip Inhale, lift the heart up towards the ceiling. Exhale, melt that chest, pull the legs, wrap the head, and then lengthen out through the legs and melt the hands further forward. Inhale, half lift them. Exhale, step the right foot back. Turn the right heel down, 45 degrees. Strong bend through the left knee. And then relax into that left knee. Fold down, take your humble warrior on the left side. Inhale, just lengthen through that left leg. Exhale, re-bend the left knee, sweep the palms along the mat. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two, make the adjustments necessary. Inhale, take the arm, we'll wrap them back, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, sweep the right arm in front of the face. Lift up. Triangle. Stay in your triangle and breathe. Or look down at the left toe. Start to cheat that right foot in. Oh, so you can lift up through that right leg. Hopefully not taking anything else down with you as you lift up. Again, strong flex in the right foot. the right hip towards the ceiling. Gorgeous. Wherever you're at, we'll all meet back in triangle. Exhale, stretch that right hand back towards the right foot. Sweep it through, use it to guide that foot up onto the ball of the foot. Lift up, high lunge. Exhale, right hand down, the left arm up. Okay, go ahead and allow that right knee to bend. Take the right knee down to the earth. Flex through that right knee. And reach back with the left hand for the foot if you're taking a bind on the side. Go ahead and gently let that foot go without slingshotting it. Step onto the ball of the right foot and lift up. Exhale, go ahead and step the left foot back, side point. Or keep stepping that left foot back, take it onto the toes of the left foot, take a rock step. Good, when you're done, vinyasa of your toes. I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg lifts. Exhale, step it forward and through, up between the palms. Inhale, lift straight, high up. Exhale, wing your arms back, some torso forward, transfer the weight. Warrior three. Inhale, send the right leg in towards the chest, send everything straight up. Exhale, same thing, right leg crosses over the left. Once it's great, you can find the floor if you're taking it once. You might go around twice if you've got it, and pull all the way around that left half. Once you're pretty stable, the right leg is over. Right arm goes from the left. Once, twice, and find your eagle wrap on your right side. You can stay lifted or start to crunch. Good, find some place to concentrate. Get out of the same folks you went back in, slowly and gently unwrapping, and they'll take the arms up. And sit back into that movement. Or just exhale, slow the palms down. Interlace the fingers back, bend back. Inhale, send the heart towards the seal. Exhale, melt it forward over the thighs. The legs straight and relax. Inhale, half lift and lengthen. Exhale, step the left foot back. Spin the left toes down. Bend through the right knee. Next exhale, just release into that humble warrior. Melt further down into that right leg. Good. On an inhale, just lengthen out through that right leg. 
Good. As you exhale, re-bend the right knee. Unleash. Unleash. Yep, release the hands. Sweep the palms along the earth. Inhale, sweep up. Warrior one. Exhale, open it up. Warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm. Take it over at the back. Reverse. Exhale, right elbow, right knee. Side angle. Inhale, over up and back. Reverse. Exhale, front elbow, front knee, side angle. Inhale, sweep the left arm. Lift up. Try. Okay, same option here. You're welcome to look down at those right toes. Cheat the right left foot in if you'd like. You might bend to the left knee this time. Grab hold of the left foot with the left hand. And take the Chabasana variation if that's in your practice. Okay, we're at your at. Well, I'll make that and try. Exhale, extend that left hand back. Use it to sweep that foot forward onto the ball of the left foot. Inhale, lift up, pass on. Exhale, left hand to the mat, right arm up. Okay, take the left knee down to the mat. Bend the left knee, reach back to the right hand, reach back to that foot. Gently let that left foot go without slight jelly. Inhale, press into the left foot, lift the left knee, raise the right arm up. Exhale, set the right foot back. Either side plank, or continue to step the right toes back and look to the ball of the right foot and point to a rock side. As you're ready, go ahead and lift that shape back to your plank. Vinyasa of your choice. Or straight to downward facing back. Inhale the right leg. Exhale, step that right foot forward and through between. Inhale, lift straight up, high one. Exhale, wing the arms back, so the torso forward. Warrior three. Good. Inhale, go ahead and hug that left knee up in towards the chest. Exhale, cross that left leg once. Or twice. Left leg is over. The left arm goes under. Come back to your knee. Good. Inhale, gently on twist. Tuck that left knee in towards the torso. And as you exhale, go ahead and take that left leg, bend it straight behind you. Then go ahead and take that left hand, turn the palm out. And see if you can reach down for the inside edge of that left foot. If that's checking out okay, you can start to kick that left foot into that left hand. As you kick and kick and kick and kick through that left leg, you're still trying to keep that left hip square. So both that left and right hip are lined up and opening out to the side. And as you kick that left leg back, you might go ahead and start to set the torso forward. Good. One, two, back now. Gently back through center. Set the left foot to the mat. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, hold it forward over the legs. Just take an extra moment here to forward fold. Good, and then we'll take that left side, that left side. Inhale, bend through the knees, lift the torso up, come back for the knee Last one. And exhale, melt the hands back and back. Inhale, lengthen the heart, interlace the finger. Exhale, melt it forward over those bent knees, drip the head down, the legs lengthen last. Inhale, half lift and lengthen. Exhale, set the right foot back, spin the heel down 45 degrees. Make your adjustments. 
And on your exhale, just allow yourself to melt deeper into that humble warrior. Inhale, lengthen through the left leg. Exhale, re-bend the left knee, drag the fingertips along the path. Inhale, sweep the arms up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm over up and back, reverse. Exhale, elbow to knee, right arm over the ear, side angle. Inhale, over up and back, reverse. Exhale, elbow to knee, side angle. Inhale, flip that right arm in front of the face, lift up, try. Good, last option here for half moon on the left side if you want. And again, you might go ahead and bend through that right leg, reach back with your right hand, and take the chapasana variation. Right hip still tries to open up towards the ceiling, regardless of whichever version you're taking. Again, whatever you took, we'll meet back in front. Exhale, stretch that right hand back towards the back of your mat. Sweep it forward. Swing onto the ball of that right foot. Inhale, lift up, high lunge. Exhale, right hand down, left arm. Good. Bend through that right knee. Reach for the right foot with the left hand. Good. Allow yourself to open up through that right hip. Release that right foot with that slingshot. Inhale, lift up onto the ball of the right foot. Send the left hand up. And exhale, step it back to that side plank. Side plank if you want it. Continue to dip over and take the rock star if you want that instead. As you're ready, back to your center. Vinyasa of your choice. And back to downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg. Exhale, step it forward and through up between the palms. Inhale, lift straight up, high lunge. Exhale, wing the arm back, so the torso forward, trace for the wings. Inhale, hug that right knee up and towards the chest. Exhale, cross that right leg once or twice. Once the leg is wrapped, just grab the arms. Right arm goes to the Inhaling back out with control, hug that right knee towards the chest. Good, and then go ahead and bend that right knee. Try to bring that right foot close to the right glute. Take the right hand, turn the palm away from the body. And then see if you can take the inner edge of that right foot with the palm. Hips still stay square to the front of the mat, not opening out that right hip. Take the right foot into the right hand. And eventually you might kick so much that the torso might come forward. And it fight to keep that right hip square. Perfect. And you have enough. Gently back to your center, both feet on the floor. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, hold it forward all the way along the mat. Inhale, half lift and lengthen. Exhale, the vinyasa of your choice will be your last one. And exhale back to down, reducing the up. Just observe any changes in your body here on your last down up. And as you're ready, take the knees down to the mat. 
So the nose back to the view. Let's take a shot. And stretch yourself out on your back. And roll over and come onto your back. From your back, go ahead and hug both knees and towards the chest. And you might just gently go ahead and rock side to side or forward and back and just massage up the lower back for a moment. And go ahead and step both feet to the mat. Take the hip, the knees up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and set up for bridge, so go ahead and reach your fingertips down, double check that you can feel about brush your heels. As you inhale, lift your hips up towards the ceiling. And if you've got the space, you might go ahead and roll the shoulder blades and go back and then clasp the hands back behind the back. Next day is long on the mat. Think about bringing your chest to your chin instead of your chin to your chest. Anytime you need a break, slowly and gently just rolling back down to the mat. Take the feet as wide as the mat, and then you're just windshield wipe with the legs side to side. Or gently just knock the knees together and rest. And go ahead and breathe with the feet. We'll take one more round. The full wheel is in your back, so you're welcome to take it. You go ahead and take the hands up by the ears and go into your full wheel. You've had plenty of back bending today, so you might be ready for it. Your bridge is more your feet today. Raise up the feet. Double check your heels. And then anytime you're ready, just lift into your last back bend with the hips up towards the ceiling. Again, you might go ahead and roll the shoulders under the back and interlace the fingers. If you're ready, gently coming back down. Take the hips as wide, the feet as wide as the mat. Tough to make your hips as wide as your mat. Feet as wide as the mat. And either tend to or gently lift away for them side to side. And go ahead and hug both knees in towards the chest. Gently draw both knees over across the body towards the right. Try to keep the left shoulder on the mat. And look left. And come into your twist. Gently relax the low belly. Relax through the right shoulder. Slowly, carefully back through center. And go ahead and take both knees over across the body towards the left. This time, trying to keep the right shoulder on the mat. Look right. Once you get there, relax the jaw. Relax the left shoulder. Relax the low belly. And come on back carefully through center. Go ahead and hug the knees and towards the chest one more time. And then take everything along on the mat. Start to come towards your Shavasana. Extend the legs. 
allow the feet to just naturally flop open at the hip. The arms away from the body, allow the palms to rest palm up. And gently tuck the shoulder blades under the back. One final body scan. Consciously allowing yourself to relax the space between the eyebrows. Relax the jaw. Relax the shoulders. Once you allow the body to relax, just encourage your mind and your breath to also relax. Stay here as long as you like. And as you're ready, you can gently start to find some small movements in the hands and feet. You might have one more stretch to inhale, take the arms up overhead and stretch like you're just waking up. And then exhale, roll to one side, curl into a little ball, hug everything in towards yourself. And just take one more moment. And carefully come back up to sit. So once you've found your seat, you can keep the eyes closed. You can take your hands to your heart and prayer. Or you can take the left hand over the heart, the right hand over the left. All on one time to close our thoughts. If you're joining us, you can deep inhale. You'll take a deep inhale. Oh. May you be happy. May you be healthy. And may you live with ease. Namaste. Namaste, beautiful yogis. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful week.